Hi guys, BTech here. Today I'm going to show you how to enable frame generation for movies and videos. This will make movie watching experience so much smoother. First, you will have to download this application called Lossless Scaling from Steam. Yes, it's a paid app, but trust me, it's totally worth every penny. Once you've got it installed, go ahead and open it up. Now, for those of you with displays that have a refresh rate higher than 60 Hz, we're going to increase the frame generation amount to X3. This will really help you get the most out of your high refresh rate display. To show you just how effective this is, I'm going to play a sample video stored on my local drive. Make sure you're watching this video at 60 FPS, or you won't be able to see the difference. It's time to enable the frame generation. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus S on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can also enable it directly from within the application. In this corner, you can see the current FPS from the source and the total frame rate with generated frames, which is now 72 FPS and it feels so smooth compared to stock 24 also, FPS movie. This works with YouTube videos as well. For the compatibility and the Steam requirements, it asks for Intel HD graphics as minimum. For my case, my laptop has Ryzen 7 4800H processor and AMD Radeon graphics, plus AMD RX 5600M dedicated graphics card. And it can handle the frame generation without an issue. These are the settings I have used. And it has 120 Hz display, so I can use three times frame generation without an issue. Be sure to enable performance mode on the frame generation. Otherwise, it won't able to reach high FPS values unless you get a super high-end system. So this is my 11-year-old laptop which has third gen Intel Core i5 with Intel Graphics 4000, which I think below the minimum specs. But let's see, will it be able to handle frame generation? I'm not using three times frame generation on this laptop because it only has a 60 Hertz display. So only two times frame generation will be used. As you can see, even this 11-year-old laptop can handle frame generation, at least at two times. So for YouTube videos, if the video is 30 FPS, this laptop won't be able to provide 60 FPS. The maximum it can do is 50 FPS. I have tried lowering the resolution as well, and it stays the same. And that's it. You should now see a noticeable improvement in the video playback. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.